Well, our time here at Sunny Isles Beach, Florida has been absolutely incredible. Look at this beach. How could it not be? Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Wake up in the morning. Chris brings me some wonderful coffee. Do a little meditation, a little reading. We have a little breakfast. Head down here to the beach to take a nice long walk. Do a little exercising, which I'm getting better at. We're getting way better at them. After that, we go get some coffee. It's usually at Starbucks. Then we hit the hot tub back at the condo. You make it easy, Read. Watch Netflix, work on videos. And that's our days here. The children are coming. <laughs> Everybody loves my turkey, and we just had a tricky year. Let me out of here! So I decided, you know what? Why don't I show you how I make my turkey? This. It is a 23 pound turkey. Because you know, if you're gonna have turkey, you must have a lot of turkey. I normally take saran wrap after I dry brine it and then wrap it, but you know, you don't want to always have that when you're not in your own kitchen. So we have a bag. And the way I dry brined it is I took kosher salt under the skin you have to put your hand in there and you put salt in the legs in the breasts one tablespoon one tablespoon and one tablespoon and one tablespoon and then you wrap it all up somehow it just keeps the moisture in and now I'm just draining the liquid before I now put the herbs and the butter on it this turkey's already been dry brine sat in the refrigerator for two days I take one uh, stick of butter, chop up a little bit of thyme, uh, probably a tablespoon of fresh thyme, and then some garlic, and then I mix it all together in the microwave. Um, I melt the butter, and now it's time to get my hands dirty. Put it all over the top, and I put it under the skin. Because you want as much of this flavor as possible. It locks in all of the moisture so you never have a dry um, bird. I do put it in a Reynolds wrap turkey bag, which seems to steam it, but at the same time you still get crispy um, skin. When we were growing up, I remember my, for Thanksgiving, my mom would cook a turkey and it would be all day in the oven. It was a long process. Well, with this bag, and this is a 23 pound turkey, I put it in the oven for three hours. Just three hours. It cooks it perfectly at 350. It's perfect. And now the part that's going to meet my husband. Coming there. <laughs> now I'm gonna have Chris <laughs> open the turkey bag. Because we're gonna shove this turkey in there. Normally you put a little bit of uh, flour in there, but you know, we don't have flour. The grease seems to keep it from sticking. At least it did on the last turkey we did here. Serious, Kate's turkey is the best turkey ever. And I say that when she's not in the room. <laughs> Pull it away from the turkey a little bit. You just need to cut six vents. This lets the air escape and also it browns the turkey and crisps up the skin. Now we're gonna stick this puppy in the oven. Thank you for this invention. Because you don't have to scrub everything. Okay. Almost put my finger through the bag. That can go in for three hours. Here we go. Now I cook it for three hours and we get to smell it for two and a half. And this is going to be our lunch and our breakfast. So you know we're gonna be really hungry. <laughs> We had lunch and breakfast for like two weeks. Well, all right, we're going to try out. Here we go. My job. My job to get the turkey out. He <laughs> does all the other work. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, Madam Chef, I will leave you to it. About the last five ten minutes, I just open the top of the, so it just crisps up the skin a little bit more. It looks beautiful. Some of them come with a pop-up, it says it's done. But if you do check the legs, when it's cooked, it lets go. And you can tell when it's done by doing that. And that's it. Super tricky. 
as I have said, I'm on my bucket list is to go nude on the beach. Now this is a big thing for me. I went from full bathing suit to bikini. Now bikini just shows my butt. And we have a week left here, so if I'm gonna do it, I should go buck naked on this nude beach now because the people here are really nice and they don't seem to be too, they don't seem to be judging, they don't care. So here we go. <laughs> It's travel day, time to move to a new spot. Welcome to our new place in the heart of Miami Beach. I'm drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>